Hi folks, today I'm going to show you a super simple way to drive a hobby servo from a Raspberry Pi. This is an extension of the project I just posted from Adafruit where I used two LEDs to indicate whether or not I have unread messages in my Gmail inbox. I wanted to take that project a step further by having a servo motor activated depending on that outcome. When I was researching how to drive servos from Raspberry Pis, there are a lot of options. However, they seem a little bit more complicated. A uh, Raspberry Pi isn't quite like an Arduino in that the Raspberry Pi doesn't have things like analog to digital conversion on it, and although the breakout board does have one PWM pin, it wasn't clear to me researching how I could use that directly to drive a servo. So I thought, well, let's just use an Arduino. That itself proved to be a little bit complicated at first. Uh, there was a lot of information on websites about integrating Arduinos with Raspberry Pis using serial protocol and some more complicated type stuff. And maybe it's not that complicated, but it seemed complicated to me. So I thought, wait a minute here, I can use digital pins on, our, on an Arduino to read whether something is high or low. And the way this project works with the Raspberry Pi is when the LED lights up, that pin is pulled high. So it was pretty simple. I just daisy chained a red cable from the pin that drives the green LED to the uh, pin two on the Arduino, established a common ground with this black cable here, and then I wrote some code that I'll show you later to drive the servo from an Arduino, which is very simple. And it worked great. So when I compose an email in Gmail, click send, that will create the unread message, and that will toggle the green LED, and it will rotate the servo motor. You can click the link here to view my previous video where I walk through the code for the Raspberry Pi portion. Now let's take a look at the Arduino code. I'm using a, the servo library in defining a servo, and then I'm defining pin pi pin two. That means digital pin two is what looks for the signal from the Raspberry Pi to go high. I'll talk about the state uh, function here in a minute. So we're defining the pi pin as an input pin, attaching the servo on pin nine. We will loop through the following code. Pi state equals a digital read of the pin two. So that looks to see whether the pin's high. If that pin is high and state equals one, then it'll write the servo to 180 degrees, delay for 1000 milliseconds, and then it will stop the servo. Then it sets state equal to two. The reason you need to use the state function here is that otherwise the servo would continue to rotate because it would continue to see the pi pin is high. We need to wait until the pi pin is low again and the messages have been read before we'll let it go ahead and rotate the servo again to see an unread message. So you do that by saying, if the pi state is low, which means the LED is now off, and state equals two, which we established in the following code, then state equals one. This lets this criteria be met again when a message comes through and rotates the servo. And that's it. And finally, before I wrap up, I just wanted to show there are many other ways to run servos and motors off of a Raspberry Pi. You don't necessarily need an Arduino. One of those that looks great is this 16 channel servo driver from Adafruit. It's only $15, so cheaper than an Arduino, and it lets you run 16 servos, which is great. But since a lot of folks may have Arduinos laying around, I thought this was a cool way to show how you can get something up and working pretty quickly. Thanks, folks.